guys, today I am here with a IKEA haul and um, over on Channel Mum this week there are so many hauls so if you're somebody who loves to watch hauls um, then go and check them out. I have been trying to be really really careful with spending in the last few months um, and that is just, um, this year 2017 I'm trying to kind of consume less and just buy less stuff. For the sake of it but these things are all things that we generally need and will use um we actually live dangerously close to an ikea so that is why this is an ikea haul um i know that for some of you when you go to ikea it will be like right lads we're going to ikea let's make a list of 100 items that we need and stock up because they don't seem to be everywhere so i will get on with it now rosie so the first thing I wanted to show you were a couple of prints and um, I saw these and I just needed them for the boys room so the boys room I'm trying to try change it a bit from baby to little boy and to make it a bit less um, twee to a bit more um, grown up and as soon as I saw these prints I knew I needed them for their room and the theme for their room is kind of wildlife adventure traveller theme so that's a bit random, bit of a mouthful, but I saw this bear print and I was like, oh, that would look so cute. And I put it in this grey ribber frame and that looks really nice in their room. And then this other one, this is actually, this is not really the right frame for it, but I'm going to get another one of those ribber ones. But I really wanted to show you the print in a frame. So here it is. It's a little bit wonky and not ideal, but you get the gist. It's like a tree... Um, imprint of a stag and then the other one's obviously a bear um, and I just thought they would go really nicely with this little wildlife traveller theme and um, the third print that we have in his in their room is huge and I obviously can't have it with me now Ezra's actually asleep in there but it is a big print of a map I will insert a clip now and um, the map isn't from there but the frame is and it's absolutely huge. I actually bought the wrong frame and had to go back because I thought it wasn't as big as it is but it's massive and it looks really sweet I think the black and gold together um, and the frame was so cheap. For a frame like that you're looking at 40-50 quid but the frame from Ikea was only £12 and what's great about this frame is that like is that like this one it's plastic so it's next to their bed and I don't have to worry about if it fell down that it would smash everywhere into a thousand pieces on his bed. Okay so the next thing I'm going to show you is this grey blanket and we've been we've got light throws on our cushion on our sofas this sofa has been handed down through many a generation and um our kids just trash stuff. We've got two very messy boys. So we wanted to put throws on it. Um, however, the light throws just get trashed. So I bought this throw and it was only £5.50. It's quite thin, but it goes really nicely over the sofa. Um, and it is 120 by 180 centimetres. So not huge, but you know, big enough to cover half the sofa. I was actually thinking of getting um, a few more and sewing them all up together just so that I could chuck it all over the sofa but that it's really soft and really nice quality I think for a fiver um so I really like that and I love the like mottled dark grey effect so I am chuffed with that five pounds five fifty I think um okay the next thing that I got from IKEA was this wrapping paper now I am so into this like Scandinavian brown with white patterns or writing so like natural wood effect with white writing or a pattern on and that's exactly as soon as I saw this I was like I love it and um, I think this would just look so simple and beautiful wrapping up a gift for someone and I've got a few things coming up that I know I need to wrap for so I'm looking forward to making it into a present presenting my presents like this Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is a lamp and it is currently up there so I will um, again add an insert of this lamp and 
It is a black base and it's really simple but I just loved how simple the design is. A black base with a copper um, bulb, light bulb inside and the filament is kind of a golden orange colour um, and I just love how this looks. I think it looks so like on trend and I love um, having that on in the evening. So I just needed something with a bit of a glow that would set the tone for the evening. And um, yeah, I think that looks really nice in our lounge and it would also make a really nice bedside table lamp as well because it's not too bright. The next thing I've got is this um, and they actually came separately. But I wanted to buy an aloe vera. My sister told me that if you have an aloe vera next to your bed, it's meant to um, help clear like purify the air and like suck out yeah all of the bad stuff from the air so um I am going to try having this next to our bed and also I just love aloe vera I've got a couple already I've got one in the lounge and um, I'm going to have this one in our room because it's so good for like healing if you've got a burn or something that you want to heal quicker like a scab it must be a um healed over um, or even on acne, I've put this on my acne before, you break off a piece and you put it on your skin and it just leaves your skin feeling really clean and um, looked after. So I love a good aloe vera. Aloe vera. There you go. And I just opted for this really simple white pot. I think that's, yeah, we've got two of these other aloe veras in that as well. Oh, sorry about that, toddling needed me. Yeah, I really, I just really like the simplicity of this white bucket and how it looks. I think they have um, various different colours, like a pink and a turquoise, and they have a silver, but I just quite like this one. I think this is the last thing that I wanted to show you. So this is a bit of a funny one, but I never knew IKEA did fabrics. I will open this up and show you. But I have actually started a little business which I need a lot of fabrics for. And I started an Etsy shop. This is a little bit of a plug really, but I will leave the link below. And I've just fallen in love with this fabric. It's obviously a monochrome grid and I've got a couple of meters of this. Um, and a couple of meters came to 950. So I literally love this. And I will go and get what I make into it and show you. Um, what I make it into um, but I it's such nice quality IKEA fabrics and they're obviously like um, tested and st like up to the standard that you need to make stuff and sell it so like they're fire retardant and stuff um, but I just love the like thickness of a lot of their fabric um, and I've made a couple for the boys room which I will just go and get now and show you so here is a cushion that I made for the boys room it is a using that fabric and it's a cross design and I literally I love this it's black on the back sorry it's a bit fluffy because it's been on their bed it's black on the back and um, the grid design on the front and I have sold a few of these if you want to go and check out my little Etsy shop the link will be below it's called Prickle and Bloom and um, I've sold a few things and I've sold some things to family and friends um, just in person and um, I'm really enjoying it so I've also been making these cactus cushions which look so cute when they're styled um, and like on a little shelfy or on a little bed display or in a crib and yeah I'm really pleased with how these have turned out um, this fabric is also from Ikea so there we go a little Ikea haul for you I hope there are things that have inspired you and um, if you are new you are so welcome thank you for coming over to my channel and um, please leave a comment introducing yourself I'd love to feel like I could get to know you guys a bit more and um, I'm literally loving vlogging at the moment I'm feeling so passionate about it and um, thank you yeah thanks for watching guys I will see you in my next video